This week on the Orion Newscast. The Chico State men's rugby team is going to the national championships for the first time in history. The Wildcats emerged with two victories against Cal State Long Beach and Kansas University last weekend. We've gone through a lot of adversity as the team and as well as a, as a town. And I think that type of adversity really shows you uh, that things could be worse. This week's featured artist Jesse Mercer took keys from the homes of campfire survivors to build a phoenix. At this point, I have probably around 10,000 keys, maybe a little bit more. We are all in this together. So combining all these keys just shows that we are all one. And I am so honored to, to put them together in a beautiful phoenix sculpture. And uh, it's a priceless item and I am gifting it back to the community. But first, Chico leaders and law enforcement met Friday to discuss community safety concerns. Alexandra Willsford is a student leader who attended the summit. Really considering the infrastructure around campus, not necessarily on campus. So if cameras are actually useful in preventing crime, um, the lights, if that would be, if that makes students feel more comfortable walking around um, the edges of campus and really figuring out if the crime is on campus or off campus and how we can implement more cameras and more lights and if that would make students feel safer. The Gender and Sexuality Equity Coalition hosted this year's Queer Prom, a celebration of expression and inclusion. g -Sex program coordinator was one of the performers at the event. Um, so what's about Queer Prom is that a lot of uh, members that are in high, of high school inside of different areas are really have just been silent since so not being able to go to a prom with your partner, not being able to go to, you know, an event where you're meant to be, you're, you're meant to have that community, you're meant to have that bond with other people just like you. And so Queer Prom is an experience for all individuals to kind of get a good grasp of what community is like, but also finding yourself throughout different activities and events and dancing and just being who you are 100%. My name is Jesse Mercer and I am the creator and concept creator of the Key Project Tribute, uh, un Unlock Possibilities. Uh, November 9th, I was pretty troubled that I had some keys that no longer had doors to them, um, as well as uh, keeping my father safe, also realizing that he had keys that, that no longer had a door to go to. We threw our keys in a jar and so... I started putting out 13 different jars at different local businesses. At this point, I have probably around 10,000 keys, maybe a little bit more. We are all in this together. So combining all these keys just shows that we are all one. And I'm so honored to, to put them together in a beautiful Phoenix sculpture. And uh, it's a priceless item and I am gifting it back to the community. So in January 27th, I launched a project online called Butte County Art on Wheels. Up to this point, I have been gifted a Phoenix solar energy utility vehicle um, I call her Gertie and she is she is my right-hand gal we go and travel around to all the display schools all over the county um, and paint detachable murals which is my first big project so if you still have your key and you feel compelled at this point which is not too late to want to participate and have your story be attached to this piece um, you can personally find my Facebook page the key project tribute unlock possibilities and on there is all the contact information you may need but again until I feel like everyone's participated, I'm not going to stop. It's just not going to happen. Here at uh, Chico State, we're, we're a family. Uh, we have each other's backs. We've been training towards the same goal for the last 10 months, and, uh, and that's to make it to nationals. And to finally see that hard work start to pay off, uh, it's just a great feeling. We've gone through a lot of adversity as the team and as well as a, as a town. And I think that type of adversity really shows you um, that things could be worse, you know? So I feel like there's a lot of growth that we've come through over the last few, uh, about, a, about a year or so. Um, and I think the, the growth is really what's, what I cherish. It's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, we're 100% a family here. There's, there's nothing else about it. Um, I mean, just the amount of hours we put in together and the camaraderie that we share. I mean, it's not easy to go out here and, you know, hit each other every, I mean, every day, two days a week, I guess. Um, and I mean, I would not want to do it with any other group of boys, so it's, it's quite special what we have out here. The hard work that we've put in. Um, an undefeated season and a playoff run this deep is something that you absolutely have to earn. And it's not something that you can just coast off of. Uh, week in and week out, you have to be prepared. Uh, and we've had all sorts of challenges come in, player injuries, uh, people not being able to play, that sort of things. And it's always been a message of next man up, just do the job and uh, see it through. 
Oh, this is amazing. These guys put their blood, sweat, and tears and, and hard work into this club. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, long nights, early mornings, um, a lot of commitment that they have. So this team deserves every minute of uh, the shot at the national championship.